Hello again guys, welcome back to another Ruby Reaction. Uh, once again, sorry this comes out a little late. Um, you know, after losing a channel with almost a thousand subscribers, you kind of get demotivated uh, on kind of putting the work back in the rebuild again. Um, and I don't, I don't even think I'll make it to that uh, thousand again uh, anytime soon because I think a lot of my viewership was through anime reactions, and I don't think I'm gonna be doing that anymore. So it's uh, unfortunate, but. Um, you know, if, if times change, then maybe I'll hop back onto it, but for now, I'm just going to stick to Rooster Teeth stuff. So, yeah, so we, we uh, took a break uh, one week uh, for Christmas and stuff, and then we're back to Chapter 11, Volume 5, The More the Merrier, it says. Uh, it's about 16 minutes long, um, including the OP and ED. So, yeah, so I got myself in the full screen. And let's get started in three, two, one. <clears throat> to the fairy tale, back to the show. Nowhere to go. That's a verse. Bound to get worse. Uh, so quick shout outs uh, to some some uh, reactors that I uh, recently started watching um, two of them kind of because uh, it's kind of rare nowadays uh, two of them started from scratch um, one of them is Oxtal I, I believe it's spelled O-X-T-A-L uh, you know, he's uh, he started from season or volume one and I think he, I believe he's uh, getting close to the finale at this point when I'm recording this uh, of volume three. And um, there's one more person that I can't remember the name right now, unfortunately. It's not coming to me. Um, but I'll, I'll look it up if I remember to after the after this chapter. <clears throat> but uh, Grizzle Geek has been really good too. Uh, they're in the middle of volume four. In a dark star, unfortunately, blind wave. I think kind of stopped it, stopped reacting to it for now. I don't know if they'll jump back on it. Um, blind wave. All right, they're heading out. All right, they're gonna go meet with Leo. Obviously, Ozpin and Crow suspect they trapped. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if they told everybody else about it though. Which. Uh, doesn't bode well, I don't think. Keeping, like, if you think it's gonna be trapped, you might as well let everybody know. But I guess you gotta keep people honest. Oscar doesn't look too happy. Kinda scared. Big place. Why, hello. Thank you for. Uh, oh, is that as a weapon? There seems to be more of you than last time. <laughs> hey, you know what they say: the more, the merrier. Sure. So what's going on with the council? Why did you bring your weapons? What? Leo, we're huntsmen. We always yeah, carry okay. weapons. Of course, of course. Sorry, just haven't had my evening coffee. Look, it's nice to see you, Raven. but uh, we got work to do. Are we getting support from the council or not? Mom. Raven, they, they really hmm. are magic. If you're going to shoot me, shoot me. That was insulting. You moved. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. You've been scheming, little brother. Planning to attack your own sister. Leo, what have you done? I... Leo did what any sane person would in his position. He looked at all the information he had in front of him, assessed the situation, 
and made a choice. And it seems you all have too. You have the Spring Maiden. I do. Then hand her over and let's work together. We can beat Salem. All that time spent spying for Ozpin and you still have no idea what you're dealing with. There is no beating Salem. You're wrong. We've done things that most people would call impossible. And I know the only reason we were able to do it is because we didn't do it alone. We this is the first interaction we're seeing with Ruby and Raven. Us. We had each other. Work with us. At least I know we'll have a better chance if we try together. I wonder if she'll call her mom. Please. I wonder if she would call her mom. Just like your mother. Oh. Ruby! Hello, boys and girls. Cinder. Spring as well. I did not expect Spring to be here, but I guess they need her for the the relic. Come on, guys. Is that any way to greet your old friends? Mm -hmm. Everybody stay calm. Oh, no. Hazel? Yeah. The White Fang is prepping demolition and securing the school grounds. <clears throat> no one's getting in. And no one is getting out. Hey, those look familiar. Haven't seen those since season two, volume two. Jesus Christ. You know you guys can just put those set, move back to perimeter watch. Tonight, <laughs> you can just put them I, I mean I guess I don't know the blueprints to the school, but this was all just a trap. It appears so. Raven, tell me. How long have you been with them? Aw, don't take it personally, little bird. Your sister was a recent addition. The lion, on the other hand. Entrance into the Vital Festival was a real treat. The Leonardo's been yeah, telling Salem that makes all sense. sorts of information for a very, very long time. Isn't that right, Professor? Stop it. It was you. You sit on the Mistral Council. You had information on every huntsman and huntress in the kingdom. And you gave it all to her. I... I couldn't find any of them because you let her kill them. Oh, now don't beat yourself up about it, Lionheart. I'm sure Tyrion and Hazel would have found them on their own eventually. What is wrong with you? No, oh, fuck. How can Just... you be so broken inside to take so many lives and then come here and rub it in our faces like it's something to be proud of? Uh, this is the awakening, the rage. Smile on your face. Everybody, stay calm. I'm gonna make you pay for what you did. Do you hear me, kid? Well, say something. He's going for it. You again? Oh fuck! Tr triggered. <laughs> Whoa. John! You're not getting near her. No, oh, rematch. Hey there, Blondie. I'm thinking you owe me an apology for my leg. Don't you think? Take out the arrows. Oh fuck, I didn't think it would happen all now. Running away was one thing, but this you've crossed the line. Sorry, brother. Sometimes family disappoints you like that. We're not family anymore. Were we ever? I thought so. But I guess I was wrong. Come on, Weiss. Let's see what the Schnee name really means. Oh fuck. Oh she has two of them. Ah, that makes more sense actually. I like chakrams, right? Hmm. 
I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Oh fuck, Oscar versus Leo or Hazel. Unless Nora and Ren go against Hazel. <laughs> no one has to die today. Let's see what Hazel does. Is he another fist fist fighter? Like a Gira? Oh, he has a tail. Who you are or what you think you're doing, but for your sake, I suggest you leave. I didn't realize he had a tail. I'm warning you. That's enough. You know, that reminds me of Naruto. Did this? No, it didn't deplete. Strength and forgiveness? No? Has been. Not quite. Oh, this is Oscar fighting. Interesting. Think she'll let you go? No. What do I do? Fight. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that was cool. That was a cool shot. She also deflected a shot with her sword, I think. Gravitational pull, ice wall. Summoning, summoning takes time. That's not what I I never considered that a, to be a problem. But summoning takes time. Don't think I'm going to let you take the easy way out. <laughs> I'm starting to remember you. You're the dense one that can't tell when he's out of his league. Fuck off, Cinder. <laughs> Semblance. There's so much going on right now. Come on, Weiss, you gotta not rely on your summoning right now and just take care of her. Weiss. Are you gonna let her die too? First love. Stop messing with me! If that's what you want. I guess she was just powering up her. Her arm is a grim or something, man. Oh, fuck. Phantom of the Opera shit there. 
Come on, John. Don't lose your balance now. Did you think you actually had a chance against me? You? You're just a failure with a death wish. If I die flying them time, then it's worth it. They're the ones that matter. You think so? There's no way, right? <laughs> There's no way they would kill off Weiss. Though that was painful to see. It's really painful to see. So my only problem with this chapter is that there was too much going on and not enough time. So they couldn't really focus on one thing, um, like, you know, one fight. Um, <clears throat> so that, that was my only thing uh, about this chapter. Like, I, I wish they had enough time to just, I don't know, show each fight a little bit more than they did. Like, we barely saw Mercury and Yang. Uh, go against each other again, uh, except for that short clip that when John looked over, um, or I don't know if he looked over, but um, uh, they focused on Weiss a little bit, quite a bit there. Uh, we saw a little bit of uh, Nora and Ren going against, um, so, yes, you know, we saw little tidbits of each fight, and then, you know, and then <laughs> fucking... Cinder fucking did it again. Shit. Um, it's weird that I guess her like weapons that she kind of like creates for herself are like fire ish now. Um, they used to be just glass, so maybe it's a combination of both now. I don't know. Um, did not even consider that maybe Lionheart was an actual Lion Faunus. Uh, so. Uh, I, I might have been just not noticing things or maybe just not considering things well enough, but it was interesting to finally notice that. Um, so that's cool. That, you know, uh, Afanis is the headmaster of one of the schools. Like, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, which is interesting, too. Like, I don't know. And yeah, I think that was my only complaint for this chapter is that it all happened too quick. Um, I, I wish there was time to just f maybe extend it to two chapters or something where, you know, one chapter it's that initial meeting with all the villains and all the, um, uh, I don't know, good characters. And then um, then the, the fight commences. Um, and then we kind of get a little bit more detailed look in each fight. Um, and then uh, maybe next chapter, uh, the fight is still going. Uh, and then the whole thing with Weiss happens at the end of that one. Um, I felt like that would have been cool. But, you know, I understand. Um, so, I th yeah, that's this. Uh, mm, it's still 
really cool to see. Um, uh, unfortunate that uh, it seems like they're fighting a losing battle right now. Um, I don't know. Uh, so what I foresee happening next chapter is probably uh, everybody from Menagerie makes their appearance because uh, I, f I feel like it's going to be like a Lord of the Rings thing where you know you're holding the line and then uh, all the, the ghost pirates come in and help uh, afterwards um, <clears throat> yeah that's kind of like what I see happening um, because the timeline was obviously off right because at one at one point uh, I think Ruby's group are like oh you know things are probably gonna happen in two days uh, we're gonna get attacked in two days or something like that and then when it converts back to Blake's uh, story they say oh you know we gotta prepare we only got two weeks or something like that so it's obviously not on the same timeline when they switch back and forth like that um, but yeah um that's really all i have to say uh that's my only complaint and it's not even a big one um it, it's just me being a fan and wanting more than was given but i'm not going to complain about it because i still enjoyed what i got um but you know you can't can't get everything you want um, can't make everybody happy, but people are going to talk about it anyway. But um, thank you guys for watching. I am going to go through this again. So. I don't know. It, it didn't seem like Weiss got hit somewhere very vital. But potentially it could have been. I don't know. I don't know my vital points. Um, why is spending too much time trying to summon? Uh, I, I think she should rely on her her other abilities as well. She's been, I guess she's just been too successful, kind of, with her summoning so far, and uh, now she's kind of relying on it too much, uh, which put her in a pinch. Um. Trying to just scroll through and see if there's anything I wanted else I wanted to talk about. Uh, Emerald, uh, the whole her semblance using on Ruby and preventing her from uh, using her her silver eyed powers for too long there. And so far, it, is, it seems like she can only activate it through emotion. Um, so she saw that Jean was potentially. Uh, might have died uh, right there against Cinder because she had a flashback of Pyrrha um, and it hurt Cinder's left arm uh, it's her left arm that's messed up right that's always been hidden because I had a theory briefly that when I mentioned um, we never really saw her covered arm and there was that scene when Salem was healing, healing her. Um, it, it to me, it sounded like something was like crawling around, or I don't know. Uh, maybe she had a new arm that was kind of like grim-like um, attached to it. And you know, the second she used that power, Cinder uh, grabbed the arm as is, as if it were hurting. Um, so I'm curious. But I, I feel like Salem wouldn't have given her uh, an arm that would be weak against the silver-eyed brightness, right? Uh, so I, I don't know. And I'm also really intrigued by that statue. Um, I want to know more about it. The, the statue right there under the, the balcony. Um... You know, she has like chains. There's a yellow light something c coming around behind her. I don't know. Is she a goddess? Is she uh, is she maiden? A previous maiden? Um, I don't know. I, I'm super curious about that that statue. Um, 
but yeah, I, I'm I'm ram I'm starting to ramble. So, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Um, unfortunately, uh, probably a lot of what I just said may have been debunked by then, um, or corrected, because I'm not uploading this as soon as I'd want to. I'm gonna try. But anyways. Hope you guys had a good new year. It's about to be new year over here. Uh, or at this point in time when I'm recording this. So uh, until next time. Uh, thank you guys for the likes, comments, and subscribes. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, also thank you to my Patreons who continue to support me even though I'm not doing much anymore. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.